Hello everyone. Today I'll teach you a very important aspect that is usage of TRMM data. TRMM stands for Tropical Rain Measuring Mission, which is a joint venture between United States and Japan, which was basically intended to measure the precipitation in the tropical and subtropical regions. There is a wide range of use of this data for hydrologists and meteorologists. There is a confusion. A lot of people have asked me how to use the TRMM data uh, because it is not as simple as any other shape file or a raster file. Today I'll teach you first of all how to download a TRMM data which gives the uh, rainfall or the precipitation of a specific time over the globe. First of all open your Google and type M-I-R-A-D-O-R dot G. Then you will get the first link as uh, gsfc.nasa.gov of course this is a NASA website where you will get a TRMM data and click on the first link that will take you to the website where you can download TRMM data. So this is the website where you can download TRMM data. Of course you can search but since you have uh, data ready made here as TRMM just click on TRMM to go to the TRMM data download page. I'll just click on TRMM. It will take me to the data calendar for TRMM. You can come down and here you have a lot of uh, information how to use all these data I'll be teaching you some other time. Right now we'll go to gridded. This will give you the gridded uh, uh, data for TRMM. So here you have a lot of information if you wish you can definitely go through them and here are the details of TRMM. You can pick any one. This will give you a 5 degree by 5 degree data. That means to say that one pixel will have a 5 degree and 5 degree which is uh, you know uh, quite a coarse uh, resolution. We will go for a little bit better resolution. You can uh, go to say 0.25 or so I'll go here I'll click on this that is 3b42 3b42 basically is a hourly 3 hourly data of course you have monthly data weekly data etc etc you can go to the data calendar and check for them and this is a 3 hourly data and uh, every pixel will cover 25.25 degree into 0.25 degrees and that basically contains apart from latitude and longitude the rainfall that has occurred in a specific month. Let me first go to month of June, July or say September. September is a rainy season in India. I'll pick this is 240 means there are 240 images available for that particular month. Just click on that. I'll uh, go take a random uh, it and uh, click on that and you have 240 data here you can just uh, go front and back to explore the data I'll randomly click on one it uh, goes to a particular day and here is your data for that particular day so it is th three hourly data so of course there should be uh, eight uh, sets that is 3 hour each into 8 is 24 hours of the day. So let me take a specific data, a specific uh, data, say this one and the most user friendly would be net CDF format. This will be the easiest format where you are interested to analyze the data in ArcGIS. Let me click on that and this will automatically download your data. And there you go, your download has just commenced and the time that would take is close to 3 minutes. The data is quite big, it is 13.2 uh, MB. 
let's just wait till the data download is over there you go your download is over and uh, you now have to analyze the image in arc map which is not pretty simple you cannot just add it as any other raster or vector file into arc gis i'll just teach you how to now that your uh, download is complete we'll open arc map and you cannot add this netcdf format trm data just by clicking this add button you have to go for the spatial analysis tools and there you have multi dimension tools click on that and you have an option called net cdf feature layer net cdf raster layer we are interested in net cdf raster layer double click on that and go to the place where you have stored it i have stored it in general h i'll go there browse through your computer and point on that particular net cdf file click open you have the file name here variable is uh, precipitation that is the thing that is varying say how many mm and x dimension is longitude and y dimension is latitude and the precipitation layer 1 is uh, the table uh, of that output raster layer and that's all click ok this will add your net cdf raster layer to your screen now your uh, trm data is uh, added to your arc map uh, screen it takes quite an amount of time don't lose patience click close and this is your net cdf format trmm data see we'll see how it is just go to the table and you can see the value it's zero in many places it is zero the lowest value is zero and the highest value will be 1.57 that is in terms of uh, millimeters you can just zoom in to see a value in a specific pixel which will be between these two values say we will uh, try to see what is the rainfall occurred here in this pixel click this one and click on that particular pixel that will identify and returns all the values available in the field so this is the rgb value that you forget and pixel value will be 0 0.3535 so 0 0.3535 mm of rainfall has occurred here in that period this is the globe the entire globe is here just for your easy identification and it does not cover entire globe of course only the tropical region is covered will just put any a rectified map on this it will go and fit in there I'll put a shape file of the world this is the world and uh, here is your TRM map so for example you want to see what has exactly has happened here you can just go here and you can identify again to see which country is this this is Madagascar so you can just remove it and see this is Madagascar how much rainfall has occurred here you can just do it and I have already told you in other tutorial how to do extract by mask using any other shape file say for example you have shape file of Madagascar just uh, have that shape file and clip this particular area and you will remain with only this much area and you can do whatever analysis you want using that so if you want to see how to clip a particular area go to the tutorial called extract by mask in the same video tutorials that's all about trmm thanks for watching